critically endangered sea turtles sick from the toxins. ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon paid them a visit tonight. Chandler is a critically endangered Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. The Clearwater Marine Aquarium has been caring for the turtle for almost a week after it became sick from red tide. What it does is actually the toxin affects their brain and causes disorientation. And so what usually happens is you'll see them floating at the surface, um, just struggling to get up for a breath or just kind of swimming oddly. The aquarium is also caring for another turtle it named Alexis Rose. Specifically with the Kemp's Ridleys, they're not really grass eaters like the green sea turtle. So these guys are probably ingesting toxic fish. FWC releasing its latest red tide report Friday showing the bloom is still present. Fish kills suspected to be related to red tide were reported over the past week in Pinellas, Manatee, Sarasota and Charlotte counties. If this level sticks around for an extended period of time and these animals are continuously being exposed, um, we may be seeing more of them as we're going forward. The aquarium rescued Alexis Rose in late July. She is doing well, eating and swimming. Chandler still needs more time, but the prognosis remains positive. In Pinellas County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News. All right, now let's check in with Dennis.